the for each loop in the uh, music organizer can be uh, rewritten uh, with a while loop Uh, this doesn't show uh, the fact that uh, it is possible with a while loop to not process all the um, objects in a collection but it will show that it is equivalent to a for each loop and it's interesting how uh, the index uh, integer variable is used uh, both to um, extract the uh, objects from the uh, collection and uh, to state the uh, boolean condition for the while loop. Uh, the uh, while loop took uh, more effort than uh, uh, the for each loop to write. Uh, in fact, it needs uh, um, an integer variable index to be initialized to zero outside of the loop. Uh, then. Uh, a proper condition uh, should be um, an appropriate condition should be used for uh, the boolean condition of the while loop and it should be worked out uh, which one is uh, correct then at the The variable that uh, uh, stores each time the um, different uh, the consequent um, object in the um, files collection is not automatically uh, declared, and uh, the assignment of the consequent uh, object. Uh, also is not done automatically so it has to be uh, written down and the, at the end in the final statement the index should be incremented uh, so 
that it is possible to go to the uh, next um, object in the collection and it is also not done automatically um, differently from the for each loop uh, it also provides uh, um, this, this statement uh, provides uh, uh, a special uh, construct uh, which is equivalent to uh, saying index equals index plus one so the um, for each loop is clearly nicer uh, it takes uh, less effort to write and it's safer. Uh, in fact, um, mistakes can be made in the while loop uh, for the um, for um, incrementing the integer variable, um, which if it is omitted, if it is missing, uh, then um, uh, there is a case of uh, um, infinite loop the while loop will uh, execute over and over again and since the um, condition will never flip from false to true it will always stay false it will execute a, an infinite amount of times the body and this is a common mistake also uh, done by uh, experienced programmers from time to time and uh, it may seem that uh, the program uh, doesn't respond, it hangs uh, when it doesn't uh, um, output anything uh, but instead it is actually uh, doing a lot and it is um, uh, executing everything that, it is, that is in the body uh, again and again, and uh, reevaluating this uh, um, Boolean condition again and again. Uh, but it will always uh, evaluate to false, so uh, it will never stop to execute. And this can be seen this uh, uh, case of uh, uh, infinite uh, loop. Uh, by um, having the uh, red white uh, strip uh, for execution the, uh, indicator uh, that um, is always running uh, so the benefit of uh, while loop is that it uh, works also uh, when um, uh, when someone doesn't want to iterate just over collections but over something else and the other benefit so, so basically uh, the while loop can be used whenever uh, a boolean condition can be can be written so it doesn't work just with collections uh, it can work with uh, anything else and uh, also uh, the while loop makes it possible to uh, stop the iteration uh, and the processing of objects 
uh, until a uh, uh, particular moment. Uh, so b before uh, the end of the collection, uh, when actually using uh, co collections, when dealing with collections, it is possible to iterate just to a certain point uh, and not uh, and not uh, until the end. Also, the index um, this. Uh, uh, integer variable um, is n now explicitly stated and uh, it can be used inside and outside the while loop and uh, for example for tracks uh, it can be um, uh, shown in the print statement and it provides a way to um, easily um, uh, have an order of uh, the files. And it is this thing is particularly useful uh, when uh, searching. Um, elements in a collection with the while loop.